Yours is professional. Hello, I'm Andrew. And I'm Nicola. And today we are trying Tex-Mex that happens to be barbecue inspired here in Austin, Texas at Valentina's. But what is Tex-Mex? A fusion between Texas food and Mexican food. I'm so excited. So am I. Let's get in there. We have Tex-Mex and we're starting with queso. So what is queso? Melted cheese. Well, this looks like it's got something in it. Yeah, it's very thick consistency for melted cheese, isn't Ooh, it? Look at that. Uh, yeah. It's got some kind of meltiness, and, and it comes with all of these warm chips. And there's a mountain of them, isn't it? And they're warm, and, and they look like they've got some kind of season on the oh, cheese. Oh, I found, I found the secret. Look oh. at that. Look at that rascal. No, look at this. That's, look at this. That has all of the spicing. Whoever spiced that one up deserves an a raise. Mm. So mm. let's go for a dip. Oh, oh, I broke Ooh, my chip. Oh, it's spicy. Is it? Oh, oh, chip keeps breaking. Oh, oh, it's spicy. It's a bit spicy, isn't it? It's got wow. jalapenos in there. Wow. That's a kick, doesn't it? That's definitely a Tex-Mex fusion. There's a Mexican spice. Yeah. There's some melted cheese, because I don't know if this is me, but we know it's here in the US. Mm. Everything has cheese. Yes. On it in yes. some way, shape, or form. And I get an artificial <laughs> I get kind of an artificial taste to that, do you? Not in a bad way. It's just like it's it's kind of like cheese slices melted. No. You not get that? No. I get bechamel sauce. How very posh of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I don't get. Cheese that slices, that shows a little, little bit more about my bringing, my bringing up than yours. My bringing up, my, my upbringing. My, upbringing. <laughs> yeah. uh, my, my level of consistency is cheese slices and yours is bechamel. <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have a word with yourself. <laughs> I am so sorry, we have bechamel in our house. I don't know what to tell you. That is good though. That is very good. Very, These very chips. creamy, isn't it? These chips are really light. Yeah. Because I've had them before, they're like thicker. Yeah, or, or greasy. Do you think they make these in house? They do, they have an absolute mountain of them keeping them warm at the same time. But are they made or are they just warmed in house? Mm. They're so good. Yeah. Why? Why? Why does this not exist in England? Why can you not just get a bowl of no. warm melted cheese? The closest we've got is fondue. Yeah, but that's not English. <laughs> Again, <laughs> your upbringing, you know, fondue and bechamel, and I had cheese slices and Velveeta. <laughs> I am so sorry. When I was skiing down the slopes of Bechamel, I always had um, fondue. There is some lumps in this. What do you think they are? I don't know. I can't. Uh, push it on, push it on. There's some oh, lumps. Me, oh, it's cheese, it's still the cheese not melted. Is it? Yeah, look. Oh, oh is that onion? Try it. There's only one, to, one way to know. It was just cheese. Oh. This is delicious. Mmm. And not... I'm dancing to the music, but you won't be able to hear this. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of this I could eat, though. I could eat the whole pot. <laughs> For somebody that doesn't like cheese, mm. ordinarily, if it's melted, I love it. Mm. I'm very strange in my eating. You are. Just very strange in general. That too. <laughs> You're not the first person to say that. <laughs> and I'm sure you won't be the last. But what else did we get? Well, it's coming. So, the tacos have arrived. They have. And, and they look... What do we... They look... We're both so excited. They look really good. We got. Okay, far away. And I think we should just start with one by one and not list what we got. Okay. Just to keep you all in suspense. Yes. Okay. So, uh, we got the beef fajita one. Easy for you to say. And this looks a lot different to the fajitas I remember getting at TGI Fridays. Yes. You know, the sizzling bowl. Come out on a sizzling <laughs> plate. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm the least excited about this one because I've got yes. TGI Fridays in my head. Yes. And it's not fair to the taco here. Anyway, you carry on talking. I okay. will, uh, I will pick this up. Before, as you start eating it, what we did notice, what I noticed, that is really thick. 
the outer shell of yeah. the tortilla. And it's, it's soft as well. If you squeeze yeah. it, it's soft as it's opposed soft. to it being... Not like the ones we get in San Diego, which are a lot thinner, aren't they? I'm going to go from this end. Okay. You won't like that. Is it exactly how we <laughs> <I> imagined it? <laughs> Mm. That is amazingly good, isn't it? Mm. I, so oh my goodness! Mm. When when you looked when I looked at the meat, I mm. thought it was going to be a little dry. But when you actually eat bite into it, it just falls apart, doesn't it? Everything I said, it does. Yeah. And everything I just said, discount. Yes. Like I never said it. Rewind. This is nothing like TGI oh, no. Friday's version of the heat the heater. Which was more vegetables than meat. Oh my goodness, the, that beef is so tender. It's got but, real smoke to it, hasn't it, as well? Well, this is a barbecue place. This, is, mm. this to me, and I'm not sure if I'm right with this, but this to me is the ultimate Tex-Mex. Because mm. when I think of Texas, I think of barbecue. Yes. And then the fact that they've kind of combined barbecue with the tacos. Yes, with, with Mexican fusion style yeah. food. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to taste this I wasn't sure what Tex-Mex was, I'll no. be honest with you. Mm. That meat is oh delicious. My, that just it? melts. Yeah. That and beef. It's, it's got like peppers and stuff on there. Well. It's so tasty. Mm. It's juicy. Mm. It's succulent. Mm. It's well seasoned. Mm. All those words. And this, That's, this taco shell, mm. this is a big taco. Yeah. And the tortilla is, it's soft and thick. Mm. Mm. I can't get over that, how it is soft. It's more like a, like a pizza or a naan bread style. It's doughy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, anyway, I think we should try the next one. Okay. Which one? Your, I chose the first, you choose the next. I think we should go with the carni carnitas next okay. and save the best for last. Okay. Because that's that the, one I'm really excited that's about. That's the famous actually. one, I think, that's from here. Okay, so this is carnitas. And I'm just going to go straight into this. Okay. Just going to pick that cilantro off. Now, I'm a big fan of carnitas. Are you okay with that? Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, mm. I don't want to try the meat on its own. No, mm -hmm. just go all in. Mm -hmm. Everything. Now there's a lot of juice coming out of the bottom. Mm. Oh my God. That, that is, is outstanding. Yeah, I fear that this is better than the first one. I was amazed by the first one. That second one is even better. Yeah, mm. and it's sweet. There's like a sweet taste mm. to it. I think it's the onions, the caramelized mm. onions, but that carnitas. I have never had carnitas like this in San Diego. Not yet, no. Never. Mm. I'll try it just I'll try for me. Sound. I've got a bit of the wow. crispy outer there. Wow. That is, that is ridiculously good. That is real. That is. But well, like you say, there's a sweetness to it, isn't there? It has to be a sauce they're using because mm. I'm eating it without the onions and it's not the onion. If you taste the actual like skin, uh, yeah. try to taste that part. That's that's why I think the sweetness is. It runs all the way through it though. Actually, um, the onions as well. That's what I thought. It's like they've glazed it with something. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. Oh my, I'm just gonna have another I'm, bite. I'm glad I chose this place. This was a really good place for me to choose. What? Are you? Are we having I, a lot here? I chose this place, didn't I? Um, Did I not say come here? No. Is that not how it went? No. You went. It must be oh, just. Well. I don't know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. Oh, that think... does not sound like me at all. Yeah. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> I'm so easy going. It's unbelievable. I didn't say you weren't easy going. Okay. I just you wouldn't make a decision. So the next one. This, this is, is the. With brisket, jeez, jeez Louise. <laughs> this is the one we've travelled all this way for. Brisket, this is the one I was looking forward to the most. Because and there's a mountain. We have had a lot of briskets. Yeah, there's, there's a, a mountain, mountain on brisket. it on there as well. That looks mm. really good. Oh. Wow. Words escape me. Mm. They are, that is delicious. That is brisket on a taco. 
it's got that smoky taste to it, uh, hasn't it? And it's got the, the outer peppered shell. Uh, it's it's delicious, isn't that it? That comes through. Yeah. Thick and fast with the guacamole. There's so much oh. juice in it. If you look at this, it, like a mountain of juice in the bottom of that. Even on its own. Yeah, try, try a piece of it on its own. Oh, look, I got this massive piece. Oh, you're just going to have to eat it. Oh, You're just going to have to eat it, oh, oh, you're just going to have to eat it aren't you? It is mm. delicious. <laughs> I want these all the time. Yes. I want all of these three all the time. But you've only one choice. You can only order one of them again. Which one do you have? Well, so I'm going to forget the pork, even though I liked it. Mm. And I think I can have both a beef fajita and the brisket because it's from the same animal. So it, it counts as the same thing. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Oh no! Don't make me make You me. have to choose no. your favourite. That's, that's how it works. They're both my favourite. They are both. I cannot. All three of them are absolutely I, outstanding. I'm going and... to say the fajita one would slightly get it. Well, do you know what I think? And I'm going to leave you on this bombshell. Okay. You can have three tacos in one sitting and be absolutely fine. So I just have all three every time I came. That's a great point, well made. Thanks that, for watching. Yes, thanks for watching. <laughs>